All righty, y'all, we are almost to the finish line. This is our very last video. If you have watched from the beginning, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have worked so hard on putting together these resources to help guide you and educate you and inspire you to do this work. And that's what it's all about, right? Like we are so encouraged in what Absolutely. we do and we love it. We've seen how it's impacted people. But if we're being honest, therapy work has probably changed our families' lives more than it's impacted the people that we've served. So really what we want to talk about in this video, just to wrap things up, um, we're not going to be wrapping up with the most exciting video, but it's <laughs> really important. Yes, it's very important. And what we're going to be covering in video number six is personal responsibility and liability. So this video is going to be all about insurance and talking about what that looks like in an organization versus serving on your own. Now, let's just dive right into it. So therapy dog work, like I said, it's one of the best things that you can do. And it's joyous and exciting. And it's so filling like your heart when you're doing it, you yeah. literally feel like you're going to bubble over because it's amazing. Like we have talked about, not all days are amazing, but like the majority of this work is just going to fill your heart more than anything. But it always comes back to being honest with yourself and with your dog and being their biggest advocate. And in that, you also have to be ridiculously responsible because anything can happen at any time. So knowing that what that looks like and making sure you're set up, God forbid, if something were to happen. So I will preface with 99.9. .9. I don't know. There's no stat on this, but there's <laughs> so many times like 99.9% .9 of the time things are going to be great. Yeah. But it is always important. It's just like driving a car. You know, you don't text, your eyes are on the road. But just in case something were to happen and there were to be an accident, it's always important to have insurance. Absolutely. Same goes for when you're out serving. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's naive to think that something will never happen and that you're the person that nothing will ever happen to. So, really, our goal for you is to be prepared in this. So it's not to linger around the what ifs or to stir up anxiety or think about the worst case scenarios. It's just to be prepared, just to ensure that you and your dog, the people that you're serving and the organization that you're involved with have the necessary liability insurance to cover. Now, Tara is going to talk about all of the organization liability and personal liability, but something that I want to also call out is medical insurance for your dog. A lot of organizations do not include medical insurance with your membership dues. This is completely optional, but again, it's just nice to have for peace of mind. So we always recommend that you get medical insurance for your pup through a personal plan. That way, if something happens to your dog when you're serving or when you're just out and about living life, that medical expenses wouldn't be something that you would have to cover. But again, that's not what we're talking about. That's just an extra bonus. But Tara, kick it off. Tell us all about insurance. That is actually a great bonus because truth be told, <laughs> I know that you like, you think I've been doing this forever, but I'll be honest, it hasn't been until the last couple of years that that even really crossed my mind. Uh, and to your point, medical insurance is not really part of the organization's coverage. No. And so I never really was introduced to it. And I didn't really think about it until, you know, the last couple of years where it's like, yeah, I mean, anything can happen at any given time. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm all about the insurance aspect from a liability standpoint. Why wouldn't you want that insurance from a medical uh, standpoint as well? So really. And to say too, time. yeah. And to say too, though, if you're not doing therapy work, like medical insurance, just for that peace of mind, if it's something that can fit into your monthly budget, mm -hmm. highly recommend it just again, for, for peace sure. of mind. Anyway. For sure. So, yeah. So like we said, um, you know, liability insurance is really, really important. Um, if you are going to be out in the world, in the public with your dog in any capacity, it's really a good idea to, to cover yourself. So like we said, when you join an organization, and again, I would venture to say that the larger organizations, this is way more common. You know, I can't mm -hmm. speak to kind of like the smaller nonprofits, you know, in a, in a given town or city, but, but it's it, a question to ask. Absolutely. Put it down on your list. Yeah. You want yes. this question asked because if you, if the organization isn't going to supply you, you know, uh, liability insurance, and typically that's cool. Those are things that your dues cover. And so mm -hmm. that's another question to ask and really to understand, you know, I'm paying these dues and what is it getting me? What does that include? And what does that involve? Mm -hmm. And so 
let me start with if they do cover liability, uh, usually, you know, every year you will get a cover sheet that you will have to most likely give to the organization or the, I shouldn't say organization, facility. The, you will need to take your cover sheet and you'll need to show it to the facility as proof that you do have the liability coverage. Um, typically, I would say that this is included in your membership dues, but if it is a situation where it's not covered, the organization may ask for an additional fee. You know, that might happen. We don't know. Again, you have to ask these questions and educate yourself, um, you know, uh, right from the start. So the liability is really, you know, we talk about like the checking the things off the list. This liability coverage is like your ticket to getting into these places to go and do the things that you want to do. I have not encountered a facility that covers you walking in their door. They want to know that you are covered on your own outside of them before you start to work in their facility. That's so good. in the event that your organization wouldn't offer a liability policy, then getting a personal liability policy is really, it's super helpful. And to be honest with you, I know so many therapy dog teams that just have both. And that way, yeah. you know, personal liability insurance is not terribly expensive. And that way you have peace of mind no matter where you are. Because the thing to understand about the organization's liability policies is that they will cover you, but sometimes it comes with restrictions. Whereas we will cover you when you're on the facility's property. So like from start to your shift to end of your shift. And then if you get in your car, then you're not covered. Or mm -hmm. if you're walking down the sidewalk and you're off duty, then you wouldn't be covered. And so the personal liability is just a really nice, like, I mean, I think they're literally called like umbrella policies because it just kind of yes. covers everything. <laughs> and, and oftentimes so, yeah. that can be looped in with your homeowner's insurance, yes. Yes. which is so easy. So it's a quick call to whoever you have with your insurance provider. And just explain what you do. Um, you'll just need to walk through what they are. I do believe that they need to have their canine good citizen certification to do that. Um, but it's right. a simple add on. It's not that hard. And a lot of uh, insurance companies offer that. Yeah, that's a really good example of a situation where, you know, I mean, even if you weren't a therapy dog team and you happen to have your dog out with you a lot and you want yeah. insurance, having that CGC kind of just that baseline certification would come in handy um, and make that process a little bit easier for you. But uh, yeah, and again, you know, these are these are things that I've learned along the way too. I wouldn't have thought of the personal liability until a therapy dog team member said to me, there was some questions about, you know, that year's insurance or whatever. And she was like, I don't have to worry too much about what the organization is giving me because I went ahead and just got my own so that I have the peace of mind to know that I'm covered. So, yep. Because again, 99.9% .9 of the time, things are going to be right. like wildly amazing, but just again, for peace of mind, just so you're covered, it's so responsible and so important to have that insurance. And again, you can do the medical insurance, you can do the liability insurance on your own, and anything you right. get from an organization is going to be cherry on the top, but it is so important. Just ask the questions, do the research, and whatever, again, fits your situation, we just encourage you to be honest with yourself. Again, it all goes back to that, but just add on whatever you need to for peace of mind. So too much insurance, I don't think is really a bad thing. So whatever works for you, do it and you will feel so much better knowing that you have the coverage you need.